Hello and welcome to the next session on decision science. Today we are going to solve a maximization problem using the graphical method. Now the example which I have taken today has multiple solutions. So we will see how to get the multiple solution and solve using the graphical method. To begin with we are going to find the coordinates of the two constraint lines. The equation given to us the objective function is 3x1 plus 5x2 subject to 12x1 plus 20x2 less than equal to 40 x1 minus 4x2 less than equal to 4. Okay? The non-negativity constraint is x1 and x2 should be greater than or equal to 0. We will write the first equation 12x1 plus 20x2. Now I am going to equate this to 40 putting x1 equal to 0 I will get x2 as 20 or this will be 20 x2 equal to 40. So this will be 2. Okay? So point A is 0 comma 2. Next, put x2 as equal to 0. If x2 is 0, okay, x1 will be 40 upon. So, x1 is 40 upon 12. So, we can write 4 3s are 12 and 4 10s are that is 10 by 3. So, point B I can take as 10 by 3 comma 0. For the second equation x1 minus 4 x2 is equal to 4. Putting x1 as 0 I will get x2 equal to minus 4 x2 equal to 4 that will give me minus 1 here. So, point C I can take 0 comma minus 1. Now put x2 as 0, I will get x1, therefore x1 will be 4. So point D will be 4 comma 0. Now I have drawn the x axis and the y axis, 1 centimeter equal to 1 unit and I will plot this graph here. For the first equation, I have 2 points 0 comma 2. 0 comma 2 so 2 is on the y axis I have a point A here. point A next point is point B 10 upon 3 that is uh, equating to 3.33 something so on the x axis we have 3.3 so I will just take a point here 3.3 which is B okay join these two lines And I will number this line as well. So, this is my line number 1. Okay. Similarly, I will put the points for the second equation. So, 0 comma minus 1. Minus 1 is here. So, I have point C. Okay. 0 comma minus 1. And then we have 4 comma 0. So, 4 will be here. This is point D. I will join this two points as well to get a line. This is my line number two. Okay. Now the feasible area, because the first equation has the less than operator, less than sign, it will be towards the origin. So this is my feasible region. Even for the second equation, we have less than equal to 4. So, the feasible region will be towards the origin. So, I will put the arrow this way. Okay. Now, due to the non-negativity function uh, constraint x1, comma x2, which is greater than or equal to 0, my feasible area cannot lie in the fourth quadrant. It has to be the first quadrant. 
okay so even if you look at the diagram here this area seems to be in the feasible area but because of the non negativity constraint this area is not a feasible area so this part in the first quadrant is my feasible area or feasible region which will have the solution i'll take the corner points a b and the origin and find out the value of z the maximization function i'll just write down the maximization function here see max is equal to 3x1 plus 5x2 3x1 plus 5x2 now using po point uh, use the corner points to find the value of z okay so for the first one at point a okay and what was point a point a was 0 comma 2 okay point a 0 comma 2 z a is equal to 3 into 0 plus 5 into 2 which gives you 10 at the next point at point which is the point which we are going to consider here is point b okay and then we'll check the origin o so what is b b is 10 upon 3 comma 0 b 10 upon 3 comma 0 z b is equal to 3 into bracket 10 upon 3 plus 5 into 0 now we can just cancel off the threes and i'll get 10 as the answer here and the last one at point o which is 0 comma 0 z o is equal to 3 into 0 plus 5 into 0 which is 0 now after considering this if you look at the function as it is a maximization problem from this three points the maximum value is 10 and there is a tie between these two points okay so both these functions or both these points are lying on the same line if you look at this it's the same line so point a and point b is a part of the same line and we are getting the maximum value of z on the same points on these points you can say okay therefore we have multiple solutions at point a and point b we can write therefore z max is equal to 10 is the optimum solution on points lying on now uh, let us say on all the points on all the points of the equation what is the equation for the first line for a and b 12 x 1 and 20 x 2 12 x 1 plus 20 x 2 less than equal to 40 okay now if both the points are lying on the same line 
and both are my optimum solution that means any point on this line any point that means if i take a point here here or here anywhere on this line i will get the optimum solution okay reason because even if you look at the slope of this line if i draw a isoprofit line okay which will be parallel to this one somewhere here if i draw a line like this this is known as your iso profit line okay which is parallel to your previous line the slope of both this lines are same you know and the reason why we have got uh, we are seeing that all the points on this line will have the optimum solution is because the two extreme points a and b are having the same value 10 and which is coming as the maximum value okay and that's why we say we get the optimum solution on all the points which are lying on this equation 12x1 plus 20x2 less than equal to 40 clear please go through this problem once again try to understand why we are saying that all the points on this line will have the optimum solution as well and this gives you the multiple solution for the given problem using the graphical method thank you please practice it once again go through it and you will understand the problem better thank you